what's going on guys it is your boy Sesso here bringing you guys the first episode of brief wars basically it's like a really scary term for just like a it's our submission new submission series where you guys are gonna make i'm gonna make new briefs for you guys give you guys over a week to do them we're gonna review them here this week i already have over six what was it like 65 entries uh don't know if we're gonna get through all of them but i definitely went through a lot of them so hope you guys do enjoy them let me know which one was your favorite one in the comment section below and uh yeah that's that's all i got if you guys want to look at the submissions yourself or the people themselves you can go use hashtag brief wars if you ever want to participate you can use hashtag brief wars as well we already have our second one out and uh yeah that's all i got i love you guys enjoy the video and there's some phenomenal pieces in here and more or less this is it can just be an inspiration or just like a mood like use this like a mood board there's so many different co like compositions and ideas that i think you guys will like and enjoy so with that being said enjoy All right, guys, so let's start off with a concept that I think a lot of you guys actually ended up doing for this brief, which was using a white background with like some sort of texturing. And it's probably the same thing I probably would have done myself. So starting off with Rui's concept here, I think this is an idea that I would have probably started off with as well. So we kind of have like this very like sporadic idea of the actual Louis Vuitton pattern around. I think the font is also really, really strong as well. I think it could have been even more elegant maybe, or just like something just you know, like with a lot of swirls, you know what I mean? I think it's actually pretty strong, right? So there's actually a few other individuals that I feel like have the same idea, but maybe not as a strong execution and kind of like, like a group critique is the same exact thing I think is the the same scenario here so for people like Munns, Skittles, Eli, Griffins, Ginge, the the very busy background and the actual black text or whatever text they use on top of it was just a little bit too busy I think when you think luxury you think of like sort of like elegance poise and and, and most importantly subtlety I think the subtlety of the backgrounds here would be the best play for this instance so actually taking a look at this visuals by pixel one he sort of did like a white background plus the actual pattern in the background as well so even though it is technically busy since it's not like black and white or subtle it's the fact that it's 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 recognizable right very very solid to be honest we sort of have our boy fuds over here doing sort of the same exact thing i, I had to you know put this in because even the banana peel when he peels a banana has louis vuitton texture in there i was impressed with that now for this poster here by teddy he didn't even use any louis vuitton textures in the background but only use louis vuitton textures on the actual products which i can also say is really really strong i think the actual you know sort of like reddish to, to purplish kind of tones are very very like it's very like very appealing slash like sexy color scheme i have no idea how else to say that this i can easily see on their actual like site when you're scrolling through so then we actually had three different people use like the louis vuitton logo as the sort of uh like background texture of the entire thing lth mostafa and Jaden creates these guys all use the louis vuitton logo as the background element even using like sort of like uh how do you say noise texture it makes sense to use noise in this project here and i think with lth's uh concept exactly personally i think the composition is also very very grand and very fun and very inviting over here on mustafa's i think that's how you say it um one with more of like this you know, i love the type choice here the fortnite fashion show type font on the uh, the top with the actual icons inside of the actual font for the o's very solid as well the person who i feel like takes the cake for me with the white backgrounds will actually end up being hd like this is hot this for me is like very sexy feels like a, a very sort of like you know a, a first base key art that would come out before every other asset ever the fortnite fashion show feels very much so fortnite was while also feeling kind of luxurious and a little bit different realistically this guy i feel like took the cake for me personally but i think a lot of you guys here and most of you guys did, did a fantastic job so i will say for the white background designed homies you guys did a very solid job i would have went that direction myself so moving on to my brown background folks use brown as their like sort of main color in their actual project we have Nathan, which is one of my actual favorite ones in here because it's the only one that I feel like actually shows a runway and not just any runway either. We got like a white, with like gold, like strips going on the corners. That is a sexy, sexy look. I'm not even going to lie to you. And then homie, our, we got our default Andy in the front, which is also like a very clean touch. Putting the actual Louis Vuitton powder on the tie. It felt very appropriate. And also using the actual like, like leopard, cheetah. What kind of animal is that? Print on the right hand side, which is very much so fashion-esque. And there's over here like this very sort of like futuristic metalish sort of like more like cosplay like costume it just makes so much sense you got casual you got exotic and you got futuristic 
all in one, which is a very, very dope look. Then we had Night Eye with using this again, this Mateus. I don't know what his name is, whatever his name is. Um, like the gold hand, like making everything gold, even the background having this nice little shimmering spotlight on it. Just, it just felt very strong. I want to comment you guys on the actual fashion show type font because the type face, because it's it's probably one of my favorite ones that I've seen so far on the on the brown backgrounds. Just feels really nice. Just want to say that. With Kevin's concept, this guy was actually the only one to really use like a realistic like purse pattern leather texture i would even put the pattern into like either spikes or just put it into something but i can definitely see louis vuitton but i think you got you want, you want to kind of make this a little more subtle and make it more purposeful of where you put the actual pattern speaking of actually made by cold of course does have like the uh, the leather background as well in the, in the in the back but not as prominent but i will say the mustardy yellow with the gold you know i would say not the mustardy yellow but using like a white or like just something like less saturated than the gold that you see in the background in the actual like bus well, it made way more sense to me, but either way, I think this is a very strong one as well. Jacob, when it comes to you, I'm gonna tell you right now, no more using spotlight on the top, okay? I love the bot, the, like the bottom sort of like white, sort of like, you know, glow coming up, but I think using spotlight on the top of your canvas, no go. I'm talking to you, don't do that anymore, but very strong concept. Moving in with Frank's. Now, Frank was the only person who really put like dominate with luxury, gave us like a, like a little campaign slogan, which is very strong. And also I think the overall idea idea this it just feels very like it has so much motion to it a lot of character like, like lebron james in the back or like louis vuitton glasses is that lebron god if it's not i'm 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 screwed whoever it is there's there's a black guy back there okay thanks um anyway regardless the <laughs> The front of this actually also feels pretty cool. I think the actual overall Louis Vuitton texture on the, the sweater feels a little bit awkward, right? If I like zoom in to the actual, I feel like it feels too like, like copy and paste on the white, but looking at the bottom, right? Where the white kind of like comes in like this, right? Feels like a very much like a runway, which I appreciate as well. Frank, you did like a fantastic job. I think this is a very, very strong concept. However, I think the person who actually really nailed it for me with the actual brown overall color scheme was FK Design. This homie, like he, he I'm guessing he 3D modeled a whole sort of like, also it looks like a runway slash like a red carpet event kind of thing. It's very dope. I mean, the, the poses, the, the homegirl, no, I ain't never been with it feels very very dope and I the, the overall scene the symmetry of it uh, The Louis Vuitton post in the background just just to even throw even more Louis Vuitton in there felt very dope Even the background texture on the wall feels just sort of like grand ex, like extravagant Just it just feels appropriate to the actual event And I think the the real contrast of this was using the Fortnite font and it just made so much sense to me So I appreciate this so very much. This is one of my favorite ones overall, but I think strong super strong concept um definitely gonna be a runner-up for who i'm gonna choose as the winner of this brief wars but you did a very good job so we actually had a few people use blue as their background which i honestly would have probably that's the last color i would have probably used however a lot of these are really strong starting off with tropics designs we actually have a our first illustrated one i think the only illustrated concept in here this is what i meant by squiggly like font by the way look at the fashion show it's so exaggerated it's it's not as legible as I would like prefer it to be like however it is so so pretty it also for some reason just kind of reminds me just like something you would see in like this mythical princess world it feels very appropriate to the actual fashion show is supposed to feel like right very 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 dope and strong I will say the character itself could like use refinement to make sure it feels very Fortnite-esque that was my only thing about this but it's so it's so beautiful and well done I appreciate you Tropics for taking the time on this because it, it, it came out looking freaking dope. And honestly, you had the best typeface in the whole game. So congratulations on that. Over here on Zelda's concept, he had a very, very simplistic approach that we wanted to go for, but it feels like something that would have been passed on as like a, like a wheat paste thing and like a New York City, just, a, just to throw it in there. It's very easily and legibly, uh, legibly understood as Louis Vuitton. So I can appreciate that. Uh, Zelda, you did a pretty good job there, which actually reminds me with like the is it concept here kind of feels like the same exact realm It just feels appropriate to what would just be on like a weed paste thing to just make sure we kind of blast out What would be happening very soon in Fortnite now this next one is not blue. It's purple for the record. It's close enough Okay, it's r3. I don't really know how to say your name You got a lot of letters and numbers, but I appreciate you because Look at this render. It feels so so dope and also the Louis Vuitton texturing on the inside of the rips of the pants it's just so pretty. I think the only thing that kind of messed me up here was the actual pattern on the actual October 14th to 15th. It felt not great, right? It, it, I feel like it's hard to really read October 14th, 15th, like easily and legibly. Regardless, Arthur, you killed this. 
one of my favorites in the com when it comes like the posing of your character you just did a like a solid job like an honest solid job Rami was the only homie who actually put like the Louis Vuitton texturing that I actually seen on the actual balloon so far with a white background no motion blur I think because it's a little bit too busy for like a like a luxury brand and like the red and yellow stripes just coming out of nowhere if that was just like a goldish and brown with the white bra uh, the background this would have went crazy I think it would have been so just a cool like you know even like a drop in text on the top on the top left would have made so much sense but regardless Remy really solid job on the actual sort of like balloon it felt good and it felt appropriate it felt so much so Fortnite X Louis Vuitton so coming up next is definitely my favorite two out of the actual blues first off we have RV Slanta with this sort of like it just it, like first off the, the, the character like renders I don't know if you did them but the choice of the renders plus the background it felt so much so Fortnite but also like this really weird realm of it it doesn't feel exactly like a Fortnite character but that was my own like distinction between like really combating the two that I have one of my favorites here and the next I'm gonna show you guys in a second but even the Fortnite fashion show logo sort of like you know broad 3d text just felt so nice and like the overall fish eye lens of it just felt very like immersive that's where I want to use immersive obviously all the characters as well have a Louis Vuitton pattern on it I wish you would have felt uh, a little more inclined to use a different color besides black on the blue I don't know some, something about that feels a little bit weird to me regardless the other one that I was combating is gonna be Sankey graphics this feels it's just it's so like like it's it's so Fortnite. I don't know how to say that, but it's so much so Fortnite. It feels like a celebratory thing, but I will say the only critique here is I don't know if there's enough Louis Vuitton in here, right? Like I can see Louis Vuitton, the hat, I can see Louis Vuitton, the band, the glasses, like, but it, there's no other Louis Vuitton. It feels a little bit too hidden. It feels like something you would see if you were to actually see this event, it would feel like this. It's, it would feel like mythical lights, like just like so magical and dope where it makes so much sense where if this had any Louis Vuitton, like more celebrati celebratory, iconography or pattern it would have felt perfect for me let's go on to the mis miscellaneous colors on the call just like the the rest of the colors but starting off with actually mika the only person who are, I, is it like green and orange gucci it's so much so gucci colors where i feel like louis vuitton would say why would you do that to me regardless of if we took that away the composition overall is one of my favorites in here as well even the star interacting in the in like the bottom middle with the Fortnite or like that star like a little X just feels very just dope and purposeful and like the 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 overall like really celebratory outfits like the layering is very dope because a lot of layering in Fortnite or not Fortnite but there's a lot of layering in fashion so it feels very appropriate and honestly a very solid choice and the gold and that that green feels super freaking pretty i don't know how to say how to say that one of the actually more silly ones was vain with this orange and sort of like pink blob thing i don't know the names of these skins but i thought it was pretty cool it felt so much so like kids or like this would be i, I do i want to say this i can't ignore it the fortnite x louis vuitton on the top you should get more breathing space okay for any future note for any artist out there if you put anything on the top of anything if like my hand is a text right if you can't duplicate my hand again without actually like with if you can't duplicate it without seeing it no go okay i think the actual like little satchels like a very just it's just like a stark touch where it feels like this would be like an item you can get for all the characters like a like a back bling right so this next concept by ben is absolutely going to be in the running for me it's one of the actual only ones that kind of went more of this sort of like streetwear more cultural approach to it like the font choice and the overall like caricatures that they use once you use travis scott it instantly just becomes like this like culturally more like just it feels right right with the right type uh, type of vibe right so i mean this was like so appropriate i think the overall mock-up too really sold it for me seeing this alone without the mock-up might feel a little bit more different or difficult but i think the mock-up super solid you did a fantastic job ben um and absolutely gonna be in the running so this next concept is done by rcs which i feel like he used and the new chapters like aesthetic i don't know what it's called again what is it called oh vibin this concept right here where you're scrolling through the website and the lookbook it just feels so elegant and so dope it already feels like a louis vuitton collab when you're scrolling through on this website he almost kind of like played this whole storyline where he's like okay we have this vibin thing during the vibin campaign the whole entire chapter we get louis vuitton in there maybe we even get like you know different brands in there this could be the first introduction but i can easily see this being like a scroll through feature of that lookbook and it, it was so appropriate to the actual overall idea i think the only thing i wasn't appreciative of was a drop shadow i don't know i have something against drop shadow but the drop shadow over like this yellow to like black it just feels inappropriate unneeded and a little bit too much of like a like a graphical element that would be in this subtlety of a, of a project 
but very, very strong. RCS did a fantastic job. Over here with Amerit's concert, we have the Fortnite X Louis Vuitton sort of like orangey, beige kind of tone. I think over here in this concert here, this could have been so much stronger if I think you uh, you you went away from the orange, like this very vibrant orange. I feel like if there was more like an offset white with like a yellow hint and like not using um, orange, but using like a brownish or a goldish tone would have been like a little more stronger. But also like this sort of difference in typography changes with the background being uh, uh, like a drop shadow and we have a flat tone and then the fashion shows like this really pretty 3d like layer style and it felt a little bit too sporadic and when it, when things get too sporadic it feels too busy and too busy is definitely not luxurious so maybe that's my only critique here but if you kind of switch that up a little bit this can easily be a very very strong project we had taylor with like an in-game poster well i wouldn't really say poster it was like, it was like an in-game screenshot it just felt right it felt like if you can see it in game in this scenario as a pov it just feels like it's almost even more authenticated um with that being said though i feel like there's a lot of louis vuitton going on even like so a lot of fortnite but i think it's like right now i want to say like 60 percent fortnite 40% Louis Vuitton, that's not a bad ratio, but I wish it almost felt a little bit more like 60 Louis Vuitton, 40 Fortnite because of the characters you use are like so Fortnite. The font on the top is very much so Fortnite. The font on the bottom is very much Louis Vuitton. The Burger Vuitton, the Burgi Vuitton idea, the font that like the, the name of the actual like outfit said, perfect. Literally perfect. I have nothing besides great things to say about you, Taylor. But the only actual person who didn't use any game like in only real life scenarios was Luther with his Fortnite fashion show, October 14th to 15th, with this very extravagant looking, like really dope, uh, like I don't know really what it is from what fashion show, but a really like stark asset. This feels like appropriate to like a magazine idea. And even so like celebratory it or celebrating it with the actual photography being used, it even like complimented that idea. So I would say, I know I just mentioned the whole thing about the, if you don't, if you can't look at it on top thing, you can't do that. This is so much so like a magazine thing. It was appropriately done for that reason, which I can say Luther, very freaking so uh, solid and dope. And realistically, what does this QR code go to? It doesn't go to anything, god dang it, okay. Anyway, really solid Luther. Cool skin with this poster is more like this dramatic lighting thing, which I can appreciate as well. Even the font choice and like the sort of like layering of where you put the actual typography, very, very solid little bottom right, little iconography lineup too with the, the lock with Fortnite and Louis Vuitton. Very dope, very dramatic, and just very much so, it just made sense. I don't know how else to say that, but I appreciate that one very, very much. Now for the last one of the miscellaneous concept, we have the last runner up for this actual video who is gonna be in the competition of like, who's gonna, who's gonna take this brief wars in my opinion? And it is Focus. He has this sort of like fashion show, like come on, it's dope. Isn't that dope? Like the background setting with the Louis Vuitton and the glasses, inst like instantly recognizably Fortnite and Louis Vuitton. The fashion show with the only other person who put like iconography in the O for the actual words in fashion show with the Fortnite font. Everything was placed with intention. It, everything was a place that this can go out tomorrow if Fortnite X Louis Vuitton was a thing, right? Um, however, again, very, very strong and definitely in the running. So that leaves us with the people who are actually in the running, which would be Ben, Focus, Franklin, Like, Sankey, and Slanta. These are some very solid, dope, sexy, luxurious, cartoonic, just dope approaches. If I had to immediately narrow it down to three people, I'm gonna go with Focus, Franklin, and Like. These three are my personal favorites, which I feel like also kind of like realistically using the actual Louis Vuitton colors and branding makes sure, makes it feel a little bit just a little bit more on the edge of the other ones. The person I'm gonna choose for our Brief Wars episode one and is gonna be in the Hall of Fame, I think it has to end up being Franklin. I think Franklin's idea, like the, the time it took, the poses, the choice of like skins, the choice of like scenery, the background, even the font choice. I mean, even though it's just Fortnite, but it just, it makes sense for it to just be Fortnite because everything else is very much so Louis Vuitton. If you guys agree, you guys can agree, but if you guys disagree, let me know who you guys would have chosen yourselves, add a little timestamp and just like, so people can go look at it and explore other people's. But what I'm gonna do for you guys is just say, Brief number two is already out. I think by the time you're watching this video on day one, it's gonna be like, maybe you got like four days left? Yeah, that's all I got. So with that being said, Sister HQ out. You going to get to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, peace. And just for the record, if you guys watching the end of the video, these are the ones I wanna speak to. I got nominated again for esports, 
Creative of the Year, and also my Team Hunter Thieves got nominated for Esports Creative Team of the Year. So you guys are gonna go vote for that. That's esportawards.com slash vote. And uh, yeah, maybe you go vote for your boy, vote for my team, or vote for whoever you think could have won or should have won. And uh, yeah, love you guys. Peace.